You know, we have uh, actually, ADB was established in uh, 1966 and uh, India country operations started 86. And uh, over the past years, I think it has been a very constructive growing you know, partnership, growing and deepening, widening over the years. So it's very, uh, for us, it is a very beneficial for us as well as I hope to the government. And uh, uh, actually, this September, we crossed just $40 billion of uh, assistance, uh, loan assistance for sovereign sector in India, 230 projects. And uh, plus we also have a separate another $6 billion of private sector investment. So our, our relations are growing. And I would also say that India's performance in the ADBs, you know, or member countries is uh, best. So over the years, you know, India grew and also, you know, in terms of project program implementation performance also uh, rapidly, you know, developed. I think our relations has been quite dynamic. So it's not only, you know, it's not that we are working in the same organization, same states over the long, long years of time. Say, for example, I think we are glad that some of the organizations that we helped establish and uh, operationalize, like NHAI and uh, Power Grid. So we started, uh, you know, our partnership in their establishment time. And over the years, they grew rapidly, and they almost graduated from from our support. And now they go to the bond market, issue their own bond, and uh, doing their own. So uh, you know, such kind of you know constructive, uh, you know, growing uh, partnership has been seen. So I think this is a, a good part of uh, our partnership in India. Yeah, if you look back to 1990s in our earlier engagement, I think we started with the financial sector reform, joining hands with the World Bank and IMF, uh, I, I think 1991 sort of a crisis. So financial sector reforms were done, we also helped the capital market development. We also started working on financial intermediaries on housing and industries and infrastructure. So those, uh, uh, you know, initial assistance has, uh, you know, uh, really bared fruit. And uh, now increasingly our relationship is looking at more on more uh, sort of uh, niche area and also transformative area. But at the same time, we also maintain strong focus on building, you know, systems and capacities for the uh, institutions and uh, transferring knowledge, uh, particularly for the uh, agencies in the you know low-income states and uh, still to be developed you know capacity agencies. Actually, our state level engagement, uh, uh, you know, initially we worked with central level, but state level has gradually been become a mainstay of our engagement nowadays. And uh, I think we are glad initially as I think we worked with uh, Gujarat as well as uh, Madhya Pradesh for the uh, so-called you know, public uh, sector management, so fiscal reforms, expenditure reforms, rationalization, and so on and so forth. And those initial uh, support has really you know, helped them to become a fast growing, you know, and most efficient you know, uh, state uh, bureaucratic system that has been developed. So uh, those are some areas that we have been working and also at the project level, we have uh, various infrastructure sectors, uh, transport, power, uh, urban, and uh, increasingly nowadays agriculture, natural resources sectors. So particularly at the state level, there are uh, two kind of streams. One is uh, our focus, continue to focus on building capacities and, and systems uh, focusing more on the low income states. Whereas India is also, you know, diversifying. So states like, uh, you know, Tamil Nadu, Andhra Pradesh, uh, Maharashtra, we try to focus more on some uh, transformative new initiatives uh, like industrial corridor development, promoting, uh, you know, industrial development, uh, you know, based on the infrastructure provided, but not, not only infrastructure providing policy advice on uh, ease of doing business, procedural, you know, rationalization and so on.
Actually, we have been uh, increasing our lending. Uh, over the past, I think, five, six years ago, our level was about $3 billion. So 2.34 for sovereign, plus 600, 700 for non-sovereign. And this has uh, the present five-year strategy. We emphasize that this should be increased to four billion, three plus one, and this is already achieved. So we are envisaging maybe we should be able to go four point five plus, like three point five plus one plus. Uh, so that is the target. And uh, state level, as I said, uh, increasingly, you know, uh, we do still do some conventional kind of projects, uh, transport, uh, power, but also increasingly looking at, uh, you know, urban transport like metro and uh, also, you know, bringing about uh, 24 by 7 uh, water uh, to the uh, urban citizens uh, with uh, uh, very efficient and, and uh, sustainable operation uh, systems. Yeah, this is a five-year strategy from 2018 to 22. Uh, so we are uh, sort of uh, trying to transform ourselves to, you know, from a conventional infrastructure uh, supporting uh, agency or capacity building. To, of course, that's an important element, but uh, adding uh, to that, uh, you know, more uh, transformative initiatives of the central as well as the uh, state government. So uh, nowadays, at this moment, we, has, we have started to uh, discuss with central government some of the very, you know, new initiatives. So we talk about this G one mission. And now uh, we also started engagement in Delhi Merut uh, rapid rail transit systems, as well as uh, uh, road safety national program and the MSME. So those uh, national level uh, transformative program, at the same time, uh, uh, in, in terms of, uh, okay, so, so on, on top of that, we also actively supporting this regional connectivity. So uh, connectivity from Myanmar, India, Nepal, Bhutan, as well as uh, uh, India, Bangladesh. So Asian Highway number one, so uh, More, Impar, Kohima, and then going onwards to, you know, I will also active in Asian Highway one in, in Bangladesh as well. So she heads to Dhaka. And in Asian Highway 2 side, uh, we are also very active in Nepal. So Terai, you know, East-West Highway, is also closely engaged. So, so this regional network building is also another uh, key feature of our uh, assistance. So in terms of the sector focus, we, you know, uh, or state focus, we, as I said, uh, we, we focus on, you know, economic corridor development of more uh, advanced states, particularly in the East Coast. Uh, and then another focus will be the uh, low-income states building capacities and building infrastructure services. So that is uh, uh, plus number three is the uh, uh, climate change mitigation adaptation through renewable investment through private sector operations as well as adaptation for irrigation, water is efficiency under Jarji one and so on. So those are third element. And, and fourth, uh, government has been suggesting us to go much bigger way in the private sector. So we are trying our best to diversify our uh, engagements, uh, you know, financial intermediaries, microfinance for SMEs, as well as the infrastructure, renewable energy is the mainstay, but now diversifying to, you know, uh, some of the Namami Ganga uh, scheme or uh, uh, transport infrastructure, hybrid annuity and, and so on. So those, those are some of the new initiatives. And finally, we recently, last year, have our new corporate uh, strategy 2030. So this also uh, advocates, uh, you know, our growing engagement in uh, social sector. So we are discussing now how EDB can assist the education and uh, Ayushman Bharat, uh, you know, those schemes. 
as well as、uh, you know, more hybrid approach of sovereign non sovereign collaboration. So, those are some of the key features. Yeah, I think、uh, you know, in, in our strategy 2030, we saw a kind of diversifying development needs of our member countries. And India, being a, already a middle income country, already、uh, still in the lower part. So, we see you know, a lot of、uh, sort of、uh, learning may come from uh, uh, experience in, say, in Thailand, Malaysia. And、uh, China, of course, China's system is a bit different,、uh, you know, compared to you know, the political、uh, you know, institutional system is different. So,、uh, in that sense,、uh, some of the more advanced、uh, Southeast Asian countries,、uh, a lot of issues, you know, commonalities are there, particularly on urban, you know,、uh, how to、uh, facilitate the efficient, sustainable, livable. You know, cities、uh, development. I think this is a very common、uh, challenge for all the <laughs> Asian countries.